Today I'll be showing you how you can import a transparent video inside of Adobe XD to enhance your UI designs. Hey guys, it's Rupert from Jam and today I got something rather interesting that you might want to use in your upcoming UI designs. As we all know, Adobe XD offers video playback in its prototyping, so it got me thinking, maybe importing transparent videos? Transparent videos are not necessarily news, however, we all know the large sizes of these transparent videos when exported directly from After Effects, and this is when I started to look into Lotti files. I'm not gonna go over every single detail about Lotti files for the sake of time, but briefly, they are animated scalable vector graphics that could be used in websites to add more interactivity. Here are some examples to demonstrate what I'm talking about. You might think that you don't need to use transparent videos on Adobe XD, but believe me, you will encounter a time at which you might need it. There's also a slim chance that you had already encountered that time and went out to search for a tutorial. Anyway, you will need Adobe After Effects for this tutorial. There are two things that you will have to have checked off before following this tutorial. Download the plugin called BuddyMovin. It is a plugin that we're going to use to export our quote-unquote transparent video. You can find the link for the plugin in the description. And you need to export the video that you have as a transparent PNG sequence. If you have both of these ready, you may proceed by heading on to After Effects, then going on the left side here, right click anywhere on the project panel, import, then file. Browse for the transparent PNG sequence that you want to make a video of and click on the very first file. Make sure that PNG sequence option is checked before you import, then click import. So the PNG sequence is now a sequence. It plays like a video as you see here. Now head over to Window, Extension, Body Moving. Choose the composition that you're working on and set the location of the export. And then we're going to adjust a couple of settings to have our transparent Lottie file. Click over on the settings, then click on assets, and if you scroll down you will find include in JSON. Make sure you have that setting selected, now press render and give it some time. After it's done, go ahead and try to put it inside Adobe XD. Oops, file is a little too big. We can have a maximum of 50 megabytes for videos and Lotti files in Adobe XD. So let's try to work on that. You have two fixes for such an issue, either trying to reduce the frame rate of the composition or increasing the compression on the file through the Lotti settings. I'm going to go with the second option in this case since we only need to trim off a couple of megabytes. So again, go to Assets, set the compression ratio maybe to 40 and try to get a number below 15 megabytes. It should be quite easy to figure out. Perfect, now I have a number below 15 megabytes. I'm going to drag it inside Adobe XD to show you how it works. As you can see, it imported the Lottie file perfectly and it functions just like a video. I'm going to drag the apple into the frame and let me draw a box and send it to the back to show you how the transparency works. When I test the prototype, it works exactly like a transparent video. So yeah, I thought this was something interesting to share with you guys, especially to add a cool factor to your prototypes. By the way, you can only have one video running at a time in XD, so trying to get two videos to run simultaneously is not possible. Yet. That's it for this video, I'd like to thank you for your time, I'll see you later.